Hi everyone, welcome. My name is Jessica and today I will be taking you through a short, gentle evening yoga flow. Today's practice is suitable for all levels and no props are required. We will begin today in a seated position. When you're ready, you can sit cross-legged on your knees or up on a block, however feels comfortable for you today, and close down or soften your gaze. Take a few deep inhales and exhales here. Starting to settle into the mat, letting yourself become in the present moment. You can do this by focusing on the breath, starting to lengthen your inhales and your exhales. Sitting up nice and tall, lengthening the spine, reaching the crown of the head towards the ceiling. Letting go of the day you had before. Letting go of what needs to come next and focusing on the here and now. You're welcome to keep your eyes closed or you can start to flutter them open. We'll start with a gentle shoulder stretch, reaching your right arm across your body and hooking your left arm underneath, drawing it in closer towards you. Relax your shoulder away from your ear. Breathing in here, focusing on your breath. Inhale, release, open up, and exhale, cross your left arm over, hooking it in with your right arm, dropping your shoulder away from your ear. Breathing in and out through the nose. Inhale, open your arms out and exhale, drop your right hand beside you, reaching your left arm up and over for a side bend. Keep your chest open, lifted towards the sky. Inhale, draw your arms back up and exhale, side bend over towards the left, right hand reaching up and over. One more time, each side, inhale and exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale, reaching up and side bend to the left. Inhale, reach your arms up and exhale, walk your hands forward, inviting a forward fold, only going as low as you can today. Let your head relax heavy here. Breathing in and breathing out. Inhale, start to walk your hands back up through to center. Switch the cross of your legs. Inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky and exhale, find a twist towards the left, right hand to left knee. Inhale, lengthen your spine and exhale, twist a little deeper, maybe gazing over your left shoulder. Exhale, reach your arms back up. Inhale here and exhale, twist over to the right. 
Inhale, lengthen your spine and exhale, twist a little deeper, maybe gazing over that right shoulder. Exhale, release, coming back through to center. Walk your hands forward, coming into a forward fold. Breathing here, inhale and exhale. Noticing if there's a difference between side to side. And just acknowledging it. Start to walk your hands back in and meeting in tabletop, getting there however you'd like. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips, spread your fingertips nice and wide, lift out of your wrists, draw your navel in. And start to find some cat cows here. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your tailbone, lift your gaze. Exhale, round your spine, draw everything in. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your gaze. Exhale, curl it in. Finding a few rounds just like this with your own breath. Inhale and exhale. Come back to a neutral tabletop. Ground down through your left arm. Reach your right arm up towards the ceiling. And exhale, thread your right arms under your left, dropping your shoulder and ear to the mat. Either keeping your left arm pushing into the mat or walking it forward towards the top edge. Keeping your knees directly under your hips. Letting the twist initiate from your thoracic spine. One more breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Bring your left hand back in, push up, reach your right arm back up towards the ceiling and exhale, release. Inhale, reach your left arm up towards the sky, finding length and exhale, thread your left arm underneath your right, bringing shoulder and ear towards the mat. Maybe walking your right hand up towards the top, the top edge of your mat. Breathing here for three breaths. Bring your right hand back in towards you. Use it to lift yourself back up and open your left arm back up towards the sky and exhale, release. Keep your knees under your hips. Walk your hands forward and melt your heart down towards the mat, dropping your forehead down, coming into puppy pose. Keep your navel drawn in and let your heart sink further towards the mat. 
If this is too much for your shoulders, you can walk your hands out towards the edges of your mat. Or if you'd like to intensify it, you can walk your hands in closer together. On your inhale, look forward, draw yourself forward, coming into your Sphinx pose, pushing through your forearms, through your elbows, drawing your heart forward, gaze forward, pubic bone and feet pushing firmly into the mat. Bring your right elbow onto a little bit of an angle, about a 45 degree angle. Bend into your left knee and then reach back with your hand, drawing your foot in towards your glute. You can hook your elbow around your foot or you can use your hand to pull it in. If this is too much for you, you can lower down, resting your forehead on your palms. Whatever feels good for you today. Keeping your pubic bone pushing into the mat, keeping a slight tuck of the tailbone. Breathing here. And exhale, release, switching sides. Either staying up on your forearms, bringing that right knee in towards you and pulling your right heel to right glute or lowering down, resting your forehead on your palms, drawing that right heel in. Release the hold of your foot. Bring your hands beside your chest and then use this to push yourself up, coming into a cobra pose. And exhale, release, coming into tabletop. When you get here, bring your right foot towards the outer edge of your right hand and sink your hips low. You may need to walk your left knee back a little bit to create some additional space coming into lizard pose. Sinking deep into your hips. You can stay up onto your hands. If you have more space, you can lower down onto your forearms. Keeping your right knee over your right ankle. Big toe pressing firmly into the mat. If you took the forearm variation, start to walk yourself back up onto your hands and start to heel toe your foot to the left side of your mat, coming into pigeon pose, dropping your right knee towards your right wrist. Your left, your right foot can be anywhere in this space here. It does not have to be parallel towards the top of your mat. Mine is pretty close into my body. Walk your left, left leg back slightly. Inhale, lift yourself up and exhale, fold forward, pigeon pose. Taking five relaxing breaths here. Trying to make your inhales and exhales the same length.
Inhale, start to walk yourself back up, coming into downward facing dog, moving at your own pace, maybe pedaling out your feet. And then finding stillness here, breathe in through the nose, side out, lower your knees back towards the mat, and then step your left foot up towards the outer edge of your left palm, sink your hips down, finding your variation of a lizard pose, either staying up on your hands or coming down to your forearms. Keep your big toe pressing into the mat. Breathing here. Start to heal. Oh. If you took your uh, took the variation, if you took the variation with your forms on your mat, bring your palms back up and start to heel toe your foot towards the right side of your mat, dropping right knee to right wrist, walking your right heel back. Inhale, create some length in the spine and exhale walk your hands forward coming down any amount taking five breaths here Inhale, start to lift yourself back up, coming into downward facing dog. Taking any movements here that you need to release that stretch. And coming to stillness. Gaze forward towards the top of your mat, bend your knees, and then step up to meet your palms. Lower down, Uttanasana, forward fold. Have a generous bend into your knees. Maybe you'd like to grab opposite elbows and rock side to side for your rag doll. Maybe shaking the head yes and no, releasing any tension or tightness in the neck. Plant your hands down towards the edges. Plant your hands down towards the mat. Start to walk your feet towards the edges of the mat. Heels in, toes out, and lower down, coming into Malasana, your yogi squat. Bringing your hands together towards heart center. Using your elbows to push your knees open. If you're up onto your toes, that's okay. Breathe here. Open your right arm out towards the top edge of your mat and then reach your left arm up towards the ceiling, inviting a twist, keeping your left knee pushing open. Breathe here and exhale, release switching sides. Open your left arm out. Draw your right arm up towards the sky. Take an inhale here and exhale, release. We'll do this one more time. Open up 
your right arm, use your left arm, open up an option to stay here, or you can rotate your hand, bringing it towards your back, opening up a little further, gazing up over that shoulder. Breathe in and exhale, release. Switching sides, reaching your right arm up towards the sky, staying here, or drawing your hand towards your low back, opening up a little further, breathing in here and exhale, release, sitting your hips down onto the mat, coming into Dandasana staff pose, straightening your legs out in front of you, toes towards the ceiling, pressing your hands into the mat, lifting your spine nice and long, Breathe in here and exhale. Start to walk your hands forward, coming into a forward fold. You can bend your knees as much as you would like here. Letting the spine relax, the head be heavy. Taking a few breaths here. Start to lift yourself back up and find your way onto your back. We're going to be coming into banana pose. So you can use your feet to help lift your hips up and bring it over towards the right side of your mat. And then bring your feet towards the left side of your mat and reach your arms up overhead also towards the left side of your mat your hips and your shoulders and upper body should be facing towards the ceiling you can cross your right leg over your left leg and grab onto your right wrist with your left hand inviting a gentle side bend into the right side of the body Focusing on your breath here. Maybe closing down your eyes. Release the clasp of your hands, uncross your ankles and switch sides and bringing your hips towards the left side of your mat and then your arms and your legs towards the right side crossing over with your left leg and grasping onto your wrist with your right hand chest and hips facing the ceiling Giving a side bend in the left side. Release the clasp, release the cross of your legs, and come back into center. Finding any final movements that you would like today. Maybe that's a happy baby, or maybe you draw your knees in towards your chest and rock it out. 
And when you're ready, we'll meet in Shavasana, taking up space on your mat, closing down your eyes, letting the body be heavy, and letting today's practice integrate into the body. Preparing yourself for a relaxing evening or sleep. Stay in this Shavasana for as long as you would like. If you'd like to come out of it with me, start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Starting to deepen your breath, rolling out the ankles and the wrists. And when you're ready, rolling over onto one side. Taking a moment here. When you're ready, pushing yourself up coming into a comfortable seat. Drawing your hands together towards heart center. We'll take a releasing breath in through the nose. Sigh it out. Namaste. Thank you for joining me today. If you like today's video, please leave it a thumbs up, give it a comment and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.